The newly minted number two prospect for the Detroit Tigers, Dylan Dingler, may currently be in double A, but make no mistake about it, Detroit remains his target destination. He kind of unfairly got lumped into, I think, the, the Torque and Green and, and Kreidler grouping, and he's right there with all of them. I, I, I feel totally confident saying that to our fans, that, but it's different with catchers. And you know, I was a catcher. We have a lot of catchers that are managing our organization, and, you know, Brian Pena and, and uh, Andrew Graham. You know, we ask more out of Dylan probably and all of our catchers than any of our other prospects. And, and we're going to be, we're going to expect him to check more boxes along the way. Such as arm strength. Dingler's throw to second in more than enough time and they nail Brett Beatty. It's legendary, you know, big league ready right now. Disseminating information. Ding has a way of, of being able to communicate and get, get his point across to, to any pitcher that's out there. And game calling. Early in the year, there were uh, I shook off once or twice. He gave me a, a pat on the chest saying, trust me, and I, I shook off, and I, I believe I gave up a hit, maybe two hits that inning, and I came off the field, and I, I was like, you know what, you were right, man. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I messed up. I got you for the rest, you know, I, I'll trust you. He's been right <laughs> more often than I would like to admit, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's been, uh, he, he's been awesome behind the dish. As evidenced by his selection to the 2022 MLB Futures game, the 6'3", 210-pounder is the future at the catching position for the franchise, but for now, he continues to learn. Breaking ball swung through and missed. You know, obviously everybody wants to be perfect in a game that it's impossible to be perfect. You know, you have to fail a lot in order to be good. And there's a lot of lessons that come from that process that you think about. I think I've made some strides catching, working on little things every day from receiving to throwing. I feel like I've thrown the ball better this year. Dylan Dingler nails Will Brennan at second base. Just more consistent. I mean, I had, I had the arm strength last year, but it was at times erratic and I felt like I've done a little bit better job of putting the ball in the bag or you know controlling the running game a little bit more maybe with some back picks or just keeping guys honest and stuff like that. He's the first one here every, every single day he's been the first player in the locker room ready to work. The effort is starting to pay off in the batter's box as well with Dingler slashing a better line across the board this season. Elevating his batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage from 2021 in the AA ranks. Touch of all time, Dylan Tingler. And we've got ourselves a one-run game here in the bottom of the ninth inning. You don't want to swing at the ball that's down and away, maybe early in the count that you have a less chance of getting on base or putting the ball in play hard on. So you let that go and try to try to progress through the at-bat and try to get a uh, pitch in a spot where you can you know, do some damage or at least put it in play hard. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned. The bat has shown some glimpses. I know like during a week we played Altoona, I, I did well and was able to hit off speed well, hit fastball as well. Trying to be the same guy every day, not trying to do too much. I've, I've caught myself trying to do too much at some points and uh, you know, less is more in this game. You don't need to, you don't need to generate a lot when you're at the plate. You can just, you know, get the barrel to the ball and a lot of good things will happen if you hit the ball hard. One of the things that, that uh, I talked to this group about early in, early in the year is, is on the hitting side, you know, is having a presence in the batter's box. And Dylan's somebody I never have to worry about that. You know, you know when Dylan Dingler's up to bat. So remember, everything is on track to happen, as it should, in due time. I think in general, across baseball now, we've, we've Everybody wants everything to happen right now. There's no patience for anything. And with pitchers and with catchers, you, you have to be measured. It can't be rushed. Dylan is responsible not just for his at-bats and not just for catching and blocking and throwing. He's responsible for calling every pitch that night. He's going to have to call 150 pitches every night. He's going to have to know all 15 pitchers on his staff in AA and what they do. And then when he gets here, he has to catch you know, Casey Mize and Matt Manning. And it's not going to be, can he receive well and can he throw runners out? It's, it's going to be calling the right pitches at the right time. I would say the development's been, it's been very, very like top level, top tier. We have all of our metrics on the board, you know, from a week to week basis to see what we did well last week, what we can improve on. And uh, you know, we have a lot of resources. We have a lot of resources. We have a lot of guys that, you know, help us out every on a day-to-day -day basis with maybe it's something that we need to get better at, maybe it's something that we're looking to find, looking to find something that could help our game. They're here for you to get better and uh, a lot of guys have felt like they have done a really good job about that so I'm happy with it.